Joaquina with Modern Homemakers and today I'm gonna do a quick video that's taken me like over two years because my youngest just turned two to get around to um, I have made a lot of baby blankets over the year I'm pregnant with baby number five so I'm working on my fifth for my own but I've done nieces and nephews and cousins and just stuff all over the place and friends and anyway um, this last one that I made from uh, baby number four, Mr. Rex, I was just kind of burnt out. And so um, I went hunting for patterns and I found one and I fell in love with it. It's from Daisy Farm Crafts. And um, I'm cheap, but I spent money on this one. It was like a whole $4 <laughs> and it was worth every penny. Anyway, um, oops, I got it backwards here. I loved how it was just modern and fresh. I love the geometric shapes. A lot of times your crochet can just seem really old and dated. I'll go put this on a table so you can see it flat, but um, they have video tutorials for anything that was kind of weird, but the way this um, blanket is made just kind of blew my mind at the time, and now it's like second nature, but you would think something like this, you'd be constantly hiding threads, like it would be a nightmare but they, if you look really, really close, you still can't see it. <laughs> but um, you're basically, here, you can see it a little bit with this one. If you look really close, you see the little bit of hint of teal in there? You're carrying that two colors of yarn at all, um, most of the time. So anytime you're doing these rows, you're not cutting and hiding a million threads. Um, you just tuck whichever one you're not using. So you tuck the gray behind and you're using the teal and then you would tuck the teal behind and you're doing the gray. Mind was blown. Um, I have made this blanket. I also made it in different colors for a cousin. Um, so anyway, I love this blanket. It's taken me two years to get on here and brag about them, but worth every penny. Um, you know, boys, I just think are a little bit harder, both for clothing and from blankets, because you can't do a bunch of lacy, frou-frou, um, frilly stuff. Anyway, this is sideways, <gasps> up and down. Um, anyway, I love it, and I'll go show it flat so you can see what it looks like. Okay, I laid it out on my counter so you could see like an aerial view, um, and then I'm gonna turn. Sorry for the crazy camera work, um, just to show you some close-up details. So, you know, you can see a little bit of my, my color of my hiding there. Anyway, this was a great, great, great pattern. Um, I just really, really liked it. So, yeah. Oh, if you're interested in the yarn that I used, I will put links in the description. Um, if you liked the colors or whatever and you wanna try that yourself, 